This movie review is sponsored by what I think is one of the best Disney animated films ever. Big childhood movie for me. Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. If y'all haven't seen it, go watch it. What are you doing? Go watch it. Why are you still watching the review? Go watch it. Don't watch Winnie the Pooh, Blood, and Honey. Go watch this. Yeah, I really hated this one. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was directed by Reese Waterfield and is the worst thing I've watched this year so far. If you're really that concerned about being spoiled for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, I don't know what to say to you. No spoiler segment here, we're diving into all of it. We're not going to be diving into much because this movie is awful. I don't know what to say, honestly. We're going to be trashing this film, this whole review, honestly. There was potential for this to be not a great movie, but a movie that is so cheesy and bad, it's entertaining. Much like I said for Megan, that film knew what it was and embraced it. This movie knows what it is, but still tries to make something really serious out of it, and it does not work at all. The Sharknado films are a great example of that, in my opinion. They're wacky, they're stupid, and they're cheesy, but the people making it know, so they just embrace that aspect of it. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey fails 100% on that front. Here, we basically have no effort. At least, none that I can see. Pooh and Piglet are basically two killers with masks. The designs are creepy, but look incredibly cheap. This also has to be the most boring and forgettable set of characters in a horror film I've seen as of late. I didn't care about anybody in this. You get Christopher Robin, which is something I guess... But he's just being tortured the whole film, and the past connection between him and Winnie the Pooh isn't utilized well at all. Christopher Robin watches Pooh brutally murder the main protagonist, then runs off into the woods beaten and bleeding. This film actually has the guts to tease that this story isn't over. There's still going to be a sequel, I guess. I, I, I couldn't care less, really. The kills here are brutal, but the only part I somewhat enjoy would be this part where this woman gets like run over, uh, but she's getting tied up, and then they run her over with a truck. But even then, like the eyeball looks very fake, popping out of her head. Uh, so just very lackluster and low effort, and just cheap, like I said. Um, it's unfortunate that this is my 100th movie review I've done, <laughs> and it's for this this movie. Because there's just nothing redeemable about it, really. That's that's all I've got. I just wanted to get this review out before I did Cocaine Bear and Creed 3. Two far better films that I would love to talk about way more than this. So, yeah, anyway, the next reviews you guys can expect are those, Creed 3 and, and Cocaine Bear. As for this film, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey gets a 1 out of 10. It is a complete embarrassment and a complete disappointment. Take care, guys. Look forward to those next movie reviews. I'll see you later.